Welcome back to Aeon's End. We're playing against, of course, the Crooked Mask. And uh, I don't know how we're doing. It's down to 43 health. Uh, but we've got to hammer it big time. Or we're not going to win. All right. Shuffled up the turn order deck. And I guess let's find out who is going first. And that's going to be player one. Which I guess is pretty good. All right. Over we go to Lash take the first turn uh, and we'll see how much damage Lash can deal out. All right, Lash's turn and of course we don't have any corruption cards which is good. We started off with a whole bunch at the beginning of our playthrough but we're going to be doing Conjure the Lost. Deal five damage plus one six damage. You may destroy this. If you do Gravehold gains four life. Again we're not going to, we're going to hold off to destroy this card until Gravehold's in real trouble. But we are going to be doing six damage, and that's going to go right on to the Nemesis. All right, from 43, it's going to take it down to, I believe, 37. 37 health, right on. So, we're whittling the Crooked Mask down. All right, now it's time to play cards. And yes, indeed, we're going to put Scorch into open breach four and unfortunately we only have one crystal but we'll put our two sparks in open breach one and two why not uh, and with one ether we can't really do anything but we'll play it for one ether and that's going to end off our turn basically we put our cards we played in any order and we're going to drop five new cards wow, that was on the bottom stuck sticking one two three four five so let's see what we have for lash Scorch, Crystal Crystal, Volcanic Glass, Primordial Fetish, all good stuff. All right, we're going to be going back now to turn order and see who's up next. All right, turn order time once again, and up next we have the Nemesis. Okay, well the Nemesis has no cards in play, which is always a good thing, but they are going to have a card in play now because we get to play a card, and it's Awaken. That doesn't sound good. What? Unleash twice and Gravehold suffers three damage or place the most recently discarded minion in the Nemesis discard pile back into play. That would be the Pain Sower. Uh, I think we're going to take the first option. Uh, well, I don't know. Or do we want the Pain Sower? Gravehold three damage, unleash twice. Oh, this is a tough one. Uh, place the recently, most recently discarded minion. You know, I think we're going to do that. If we're going to place the most recently discarded minion. Uh, nah, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. Because we want to keep hammering on the Crooked Mass. So, <laughs> unleashed twice. Uh, and Gravehold suffers three damage. All right, let's do Gravehold suffering three damage. 20 down to 17. Maybe this is a bad move. I don't know. 20 down to 17. Unleashing twice. Any player gains a corruption and places it on top of their deck. Then they shuffle the discard pile into their deck. We're going to do that for both. We're going to give one corruption card to uh, Lash. And we're going to give one corruption card to Xanos. And we're going to take their discard pile and their draw pile. We're going to shuffle it. Yeah, I'll shuffle it off camera here. Uh, uh, that totally messes with our uh, order of things, but uh, that's what Crooked Mask is all about, is messing you about. All right, so that gives us a new draw deck. Same thing with uh, Zassos. We're going to shuffling in the discard pile with the draw deck. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, and it's shuffle, yeah. So again, screwing with order in a big way. All right. That's that. That's... Mm, I think that was the right decision. I, at least I hope so. All right. Uh, next up is... Uh, who's going to be going? Player 2. All right. Let's go over to... Uh, player 2 is Assos. Have him take a turn. All right. Player 2 taking a turn. No corruption cards yet. Casting spells. We might as well fire off the Thermal Dart. It's going to do 3 damage plus 1 for uh, Open Breach 4. So doing 4 damage. Uh, but it is it is the first Thermal Dart. So we're just going to be doing 4 damage. Directly onto our Nemesis. Taking him from 37 down to 33 health. Less than half health. Which is good. Good stuff. Alright, now we get to play our cards. 
Ah, uh, return to gem you played. All right, so Thermal Dart is going to go in Open Breach. Four. And then once again, we get to mess with the Astral Cube. So we're going to do the same kind of thing. Return a gem you played this time to your hand. So we're going to play our three gems, three ether, return it to hand, four ether, reveal the top card of the turn order deck. If you reveal a, play, uh, a player's turn order card, that player gains a life. And the top card is player one, right on. So player one gets a life, six health up to seven. That is certainly helpful. Uh, and that's it for playing this relic. So we have four ether now. Uh, and with four ether, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to get another thermal dart for, uh, that puts our two thermal darts together, which I like. All right. And that is going to be it. So we're going to put that on the bottom for our, any order we like. And we're going to draw five new cards. Of course, these are all shuffled now. One, two, three, four, five. So I have no idea what's coming up in any order. So we get, oh, we get a, a corruption card. We get pyre. And we get two crystals and a spark. Okay, well, uh, could be worse. Could be worse. That's uh, Zassos taking a turn. Now we're going back to turn order to see who's up next. All right, turn order time. And we have player one. All right, player one, let us see what you can do. I think we're going to be doling out some damage. Good stuff. Let's go to player one. All right, Lash is up. No corruption cards in hand, which is awesome. So we're going to be starting to smack down some damage. So we have two sparks. One, two. We're going to cast them off first. Doing two damage to the Nemesis. 33 down to 31. Oh, yeah. You're going down, Crooked Mask, I hope. Then we have a Scorch spell in Open Breach 4 with plus 1. Going to be dealing 5 damage for that one, which is pretty good stuff. 5 damage is going to take him down to 26, I believe that is. Yeah, 26 health. All right. Good. Wow, we've really beaten the Crooked Mask down. And it must mean that we're getting close to winning, possibly. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe. Um, all right, and we have lots of good stuff this time. We have Scorch. So we're going to put Scorch open breach one because that gives us extra damage. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, focus any player's breach. I think we are, or we can destroy this and gain three life. We're not going to do that. We're going to focus Zaxos's breach number three, which makes it very close to opening. All very close to opening, which is excellent. Then we have two, three, we have four, uh, four ether to spend. And with four ether to spend, I think, uh, four ether to spend, eh? I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our first thermal dart because it's a damage spell. We're getting close to beating down this guy. Uh, and I think the most more damage we can dole out, the better. At least I hope so. Uh, and we can put these back in any order, so we'll put them back in this order. And drawing up five cards, totally shuffle, of course, one, two, three, four, five, which I don't think is going to be too big of a deal for us. Did we get the, we got our corruption card in here, so as I say, it's not going to be a big deal. All of a sudden, it is. All right, well, we're going to have to deal with that uh, when it happens. And okay. Back to turn order. Let's see who goes next. All right, turn order time, and it is the Nemesis. Okay, well, he has to get his revenge here, and he has no cards in play. Now he will have one card. He's playing Chaos Flail. To discard, spend seven ether. Wow, probably not going to happen. A power unleashed twice. Any player places their discard pile on top of their deck and shuffles it. Uh, yeah, okay, then the player reveals the top two cards of their deck and destroys the most expensive card revealed. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it has two charges on it. So, I don't know. We just have to get this guy down to zero health. All right, well, that was uh, the Crooked Mask going. And uh, last player, I think, is, of course, player two. Player 2 is going to end off our episode for today, so let's go over to Player 2. They do have a Corruption card, though, so you're going to have to deal with that. 
Uh, so let's take a look at that and uh, let's go over to Zassos, have him take the final turn for the episode. All right, here we are. Yes, the first thing we do is we're going to have to deal with the corruption card. Suffer one damage. Okay, nine down to eight. Uh, return any cards that cost zero uh, ether to your discard pile. Oh, return any cards that cost zero ether in your discard pile to your hand. What? Oh, that is absolutely uh, beneficial. Uh, wow, is that right? Returning cards cost zero ether to your disc from your discard pile to your hand and destroy this. Huh, that is going to give us a huge boost, I think. So we have zero, zero, zero. Okay, well, we have three crystals that go back to our hand. That is very excellent, I do believe. That's now going to give us a ton of ether. Or is it? One, two, three, four. It gives us five ether. All right. Well, that's what happens first. Now we get to cast spells. I think we're doing all right. So we're going to be casting Thermal Dart, deal three damage. Uh, if it's the first, blah, blah, blah. Well, it is the only. So Thermal Dart, three damage. Three damage on Crooked Mass, 26 to 23. Feeling confident at this point in the playthrough. <laughs> but yeah, you just never really know, do you? Okay, uh, we have a spark. We have one, two, three, we have five ether. And I, okay, I think what we're going to do, we're going to put Pyre in Open Breach 4. Because we can do that. We're going to put a spark, Open Breach 1. And we have one, two, three, four. We have five ether. I think we're going to spend all five of our ether. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a Scorch spell. Again, a damage dealing spell. We want to damage uh, this guy as quickly as possible and get rid of him. He only has 23 health left. These go back, of course, in any order. And five cards. One, two, three, four, five for our next hand. For next episode, Volcanic Glass, Conjure the Lost. A damage card and Primordial Fetish. All right. Very good stuff, I think. And that is going to be the end of Zassos' turn. We're going to zoom out, and we're going to have uh, the end of our episode. Okay, well, that's going to end off our episode for today. Once again, fairly short, but uh, like I said, I want to make sure I do just one full round an episode so I can catch anything that I'm messing up, uh, if I do. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly shuffle these. Yes, I shuffle them at the beginning as well, so I have no idea of the turn order. Uh, when we go into the next episode. So this is Aeon's End uh, with all the uh, with the base game, War Eternal, and the four small expansions all thrown into the mix. And uh, we're playing against Crooked Mask, which is uh, kind of interesting to play against. It's very sort of chaotic for sure uh, by having shuffling decks and having these corruption cards and things popping up. Uh, but I'm finding the corruption cards are uh, bittersweet because they they do some nasty things, but they do some beneficial things as well. So kind of interesting, kind of chaotic. Uh, so thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. Really appreciate it. Join me next time for the continuation, Aeon's End against the Crooked Mask. We have him down to 23 health. Gravehold at 17. We're not too much in danger of losing it yet. We've Lash at 7 health. Zassos at 8. I think we're doing okay. So join me next time for the continuation, Aeon's End. We have Lash and Zassos against the Crooked Mask.